Pretty jazzy, huh? Right here in Montreal, Quebec. And the days, baby, are getting fucking shorter, man. Getting to the end of uh, November, November. CP rail line down there. Days are getting short like the fucking energy left in my battery here. Look at this weird fucking uh, garage. Anyway, check this out. Uh, I'd seen this car a few months ago walking down in this area, which is not far from my place. Old Mazda RX-7. I have a few ads for these and they're always silver. They're always the same color. This car, I don't know man, 80 to 84 or 5. Of course this design. I come to think of it, I even have an ad from 79, which I think is the first year for this design, and the car is in silver. You know, people say that the Japanese are great at copying designs from other car makers, and this is true. I think in the RX-7's case, it was specifically true right here, man. Oh, what's that? Oh, Mustang. Yeah. So common, these Mustangs. I prefer this RX-7. Anyway, well, like I was saying, what the Japanese, I think, this is just a theory I have that they copied here, was, uh, it looks to me like they copied the fucking rear window here, this bubble rear window, either off a fucking Stingray Corvette from the 60s, or, better yet, a 70s Camaro or Firebird Trans Am. And uh, you can see this car is, uh, it's a driver, you know. It needs love. It needs money invested into it, you know. Look at those tailpipes, they're rusty. The guy who owns this, I mean, uh, if you would ever watch this, no offense, but I mean, you got a fucking C plate, motorcycle size plate there. That's basically the cheapest type of plate you can get for an automobile. That's a classic car plate. The only thing is that I think it's like 100 or 150 bucks or something for a year, but you're not allowed to drive on the highway with it or go more than 90 clicks an hour. Now, what's with this fucking sunroof here? It's not even a window. Is it original or no? Oh. Interior looks nice. Yeah, very nice. Right on. Yeah. Now, of course, I shouldn't forget what are the Mazdas noted for these years? Specifically, the RX-7 was. Hey, look, a little hot dog. <laughs> they were noted for the rotary engine, which was troublesome, but still, it was different. And uh, apparently if they're, although they're, you know, tedious and uh, if you looked after them, well, took good care of them, then they're good motors. Or so it would seem. I want to get one last view of this here. Nice day though. It was a lot windier earlier. I definitely didn't go out. Hey, can I fucking cross here? What's a fucking busy street, man? Look how small that looks next to that Mazda pickup. Ironically, that Mazda pickup, of course, is also a Ford Ranger. So which is it really? Is it really a Mazda or is it really a Ford, you know? Huh. Ah, fuck, I forgot to check underneath this thing. Uh, I wonder if it looks good. Well, the body doesn't have any rust on it. It's just a little slight surface rust, nothing big. Even those pipes there. Yeah. Yeah, not winter, not winter driven, you know. Anyway, just a neat little old car, a rear, rear antenna, very, you know, affordable sports car. Anyway, that's it, that's all folks. Have a good night, take care.